we are going to try to optimize performance using LOD groups. What I have in here is two of the same car, but with different LODs. So if we open these in cinema, or you can open them in Blender as well, and if we select all of the polygons, we're going to see that the LOD B or the LOD1 has a total amount of 128,000. If we select the LOD0, or in this case the LOD A, we're going to see that it has 200,000 polygons. Now if we take a closer look, we're going to see that this higher polygon model has basically no imperfections, while the lower one has some imperfections, like right here for example. It's not very very sharp. Now what this is useful for is that if we're close to this one, we want to render this car as a LOD0, as the higher quality version. But if we're farther away, like this far, we want to load it as LOD1. And that, in theory, will save us a lot of frames. So let's import this inside of Unity and let's see what happens. Okay, so now we're inside of Unity and we have both of the models inside our scene. Now in order to test them, we are going to disable each one and test the frame rate that we get. To test the frame rate, we are going to run at 4K resolution. And since I have a dedicated GPU, we are going to try and duplicate these models to like 10 models or something. So it gets a little bit heavier for our game. Okay, so I made a simple script that offsets each car by two units and it duplicates 10 instances of the same car. So what I'm going to do is obviously we have it at 4K and I'm simply going to hit play. Okay, with the LOD A, or should we say LOD 0, we are getting around 95 FPS. What I'm going to do now is take the LOD 1 and replace it in here. And now if I hit play, we are getting 130 FPS. Of course, we are we are running at the same settings at 4K. So if we drop now the settings all the way down to 1080p, we should see a little bit of a increase of the frame rate. So now that we know the LODs increase the frame rate, we are going to build a simple function for the LODs to detect if we're close enough to load the second LOD. Okay, to swap between the LODs, we've defined two LODs in here. Defined LOD1 and LOD0. Then to define a distance threshold, I have defined a new float variable, which I've set it to 20. And now let's build some function where we calculate the distance between the camera and the game object. To calculate the distance, I'm going to use the camera as a transform. To instantiate the transform, I'm going to call the function find object of type. And this is how we get the camera as a transform. Now to calculate the distance, I'm going to use a fixed update. And before we calculate the distance, I'm going to make another load variable and I'm simply going to call it distance. I'm going to set the distance to vector3 dot distance between the camera and the current transform. And what's left for us to do is to use this distance and to enable or disable one of these LODs. So if the distance is greater than the distance threshold, we are going to load the LOD1. And when the LOD1 is active, we want to disable the LOD0. And if this function returns this a false, we want to reverse these two. And there we have it. This is our simple script that is going to enable or disable these LODs depending on the distance of the object. Okay, now all that's left for us to do is to drag these LODs inside these slots in here. So we're going to drag both of them. We're going to leave the distance threshold to 20 and then we're simply going to hit play. After hitting play, we should see that the one of these LODs should be false. And it is right here, as we can see. Now what I'm going to do is grab the camera game object. Okay, now what I'm going to do is grab this camera game object and move it further. Okay, we can clearly see that the LODs are working. And we can go back. And we can see that it switches LODs. Now you might have noticed that if you switch to the LOD that is further, you might notice that the FPS goes a little bit higher and that's because the polygonal count is smaller in this LOD. Okay, that's about it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next videos.